What's up guys, it's Mike here with Bro Indoors 365. Sunday, February 11th, 2018. We are looking good. We are looking good. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Unfortunately, it is Sunday and it's coming to an end. It's like that, you know, I hate when you, when you hit a certain time frame on Sunday and then you realize that Monday is literally around the corner. Give me a thumbs up if you feel the same way. Well, for a quick update on our uh, lovely Sunday update, let's see what we have going on. Let's see how things are going. This is just a quick babble on what I have for you. So let me actually step into the tent. Guys, okay, for you guys that are new, my name is Mike. I am a hydroponic indoor gardener. All right, everything that I have here, all the setup, all the links that I use for all the stuff that I that I uh, that I use to maintain my indoor grow is right down below. So just click those links to check out exactly what I use and what you need to be using to grow like me. Look at this. Is this <laughs> this is the more I think about it, the more I am just I'm overwhelmed of how happy I am for the fact that this is number one, cape you know possible uh, to be able to clone such beautiful plants from a plant. I mean, I haven't tried it with any other plants. So if you guys are new to the channel again, or you guys have been following me for quite a while, this is a basil plant. Okay, both of these basil plants were little, little nothings. They were little nodes that I actually went ahead and I had a huge plant, a huge one. And um, I wanted to show the viewers, I wanted to show you guys how to go ahead and clone from a large plant, small plants, and getting them to a beautiful size like this and let's take a look I mean look at the roots by the way the root system is enormous I mean these are like several these are like I don't even know like maybe like three weeks old they are looking first of all gorgeous let me see if I could no I don't want to increase the light on them but bottom line is it's it's looking beautiful I'm probably gonna uh, maybe eat some of these bottom ones today wow smells it smells better than the original plant um, but they came out so well now this is some of this uh, lemon mint that I have and these are looking amazing I just went ahead and watered them on top because I'll and I'll tell you guys why I, I started watering things on top but I realized something that I'm making a correction on but this is uh, this is gonna be uh, really oh yeah I make tea with this stuff Okay, when it gets a nice, it's going to get like this bushy. You see how small it is now? It's literally going to grow in the next few weeks just to be this huge, overwhelming little circular little bush. And uh, I just kind of pick at them. I have a little presser and uh, I, I, you know, steam up some water and I, and I drink some tea. Maybe add a little ginger pieces and some honey. And it's unbelievable. Um, really good for your immune system and just overall health. And smells incredible I mean you literally you could just rip this off let's see how close I could get you could literally rip this thing off and I mean it smells unbelievable you could just chew it look at that thing gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I mean if you guys didn't see these little guys have a really nice root system also I mean they're doing really really well for those little plants but I mean there's a lot of seeds in each one of these rock walls so that's why it, it has so many uh, has so many roots ah look at these little guys again if you guys are new and you don't know look at some of the previous videos that I have these are my hydroponic carrots and they, I don't know what to expect yet okay um, I guess you could call this leggy I don't know um, I've never grown indoor I've never grown carrots period okay uh, especially growing them in no dirt straight up hydroponics the roots are beautiful lovely and white really clean they're doing really nice okay I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just excited to see as they progress how the carrot is going to form inside the rock wall I'm just very excited just to see the transformation from you know the seed into this and how big this back part is and just overall just just really excited just to see the carrot and <laughs> how it uh how it grows let me just give you a quick little um, up close shot of these these are aren't they beautiful I always feel like you could juice these or or just chew on them I don't even know but they are beautiful and green and they look really really happy 
they're flourishing really, really nicely. They look really, it's almost like if you're down here and you kind of look up, you're kind of walking in a, like a beautiful garden if you're just kind of walking through it. It's awesome. It's like little, little palm trees. <laughs> that would be a cool, actually, this is going to be my uh, thumbnail. That's going to be beautiful right there. <clears throat> now down below here, I also have another reservoir. And these two plants right here, let me get down here, are watermelon. And uh, yeah, so I am doing hydroponic indoor watermelon. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long it's been for these two plants, but they're doing really well. And I got one of my lemon uh, mints down here because uh, mm, it smells awesome. I didn't want it to go to waste. Now, the mint's doing well. It's got a little bit of a, got some good roots. And the watermelon's gradually growing some really nice roots. As you can see, I got the water oxygen on rapid fire. As uh, I have a dedicated, I have a dedicated air pump just for uh, this one reservoir. I really want these uh, watermelons to flourish. But I wanted to show you guys something. So before, the, what I usually do is I take some of this rock wool, uh, I mean I take some of this clay, these clay pebbles, and I put them at the bottom of the net pod first when I'm, when I'm adding these to the reservoir. Then I put in a rock wool cube and then I put surrounding clay pebbles around it for stability. Now I did realize that over time when light is uh, shining down on these things for quite a long time throughout the day and day in and day out, the rock wool actually gets pretty dried out. Okay, so I mean sometimes moisture can get up there um, through the roots or through splashing or however, but I realized a better method to keep them this color and you want them nice and moist so that the root systems are always getting moist is literally just to put you can see that, you can't really see that. But basically now what I'm doing is, I'm putting the rock wool just straight down into the net pod. I mean, you know, this is the first time I'm doing this method, but we will see what happens. But I just noticed that the rock wool, it gets so dried out and I feel that the plant doesn't really love it because, you know, a, a significant amount of the stem and the root system is working from right within that rock wool. So I think this method's gonna be pretty good to allow um, some um, nutrients and water uh, to get into the stem a little better for quicker access. Now, if you guys remember, I'm also growing in this tent here, okay? And there's the Mr. Hua light. For, for this light, the links are down below. For the tents and everything else that I'm using, the links are down below, but here we go. This is the dirt stuff, okay? And this is just experimental. And it's actually, if you look, it's kind of in the same stage as, as my hydroponic stuff. So I'm not seeing a huge difference of anything, and I, I really don't know what to think. Now, here's three watermelon plants that, that are doing really well. I mean, they feel good. And, um, yeah, I mean, in comparison, yeah, they're about the same size in comparison. So I'm actually, that's why I wanted to take two different tents, this one and this one. And I have, I have the uh, LED light, the Mr. Hua light, on these two. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just, I'm just looking for, do LED lights actually work better? Now, you know, just a, just a quick insight of my feedback. I'm not too stoked on those LED lights because you have to consistently put on your UV protected you know, glasses. And I mean, it's scary to even look down into it, not even at the light or whatever. And it actually hurts your eyes, and I'm, I'm totally against that. And I just, I just don't like the feeling. It's literally leaves you like puzzled for a little bit. So I find that to be like kind of annoying. The the biggest benefit is it, it it runs cool, and it keeps the tent pretty cool. So it keeps the moisture levels in the tent pretty nice, uh, the humidity levels, and just overall it just keeps it pretty dry in there. But this is it. These are the carrots. They're looking good. Everything's looking nice and healthy. I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, maybe six. Can't really tell. They kind of all, yeah, I think seven actually. And three watermelon. And that's what we got in the, in the one grow tent. And those are all in dirt. And this is again, the hydroponic setup for right now for early February. And that's really it, guys. I just wanted to fill you guys in. I hope you're all uh, doing well. I hope you're growing inside. Make sure to hit the uh, down below uh, within the bundle of everything that I use to grow is also a link to the Facebook page for Grow Indoors 365. Make sure you hit that. 
I post videos, I post images that I'm obviously not posting certain, I can't post images on YouTube, but stuff like that gets posted on there. And also everybody else can share things too. Somebody suggested something regarding a, um, a different type of page, like a fan page. I might have to switch that up. I'm not even sure. I'm not super, you know, into the whole Facebook thing. But if somebody has some details on how we could actually interact and better uh, have better capabilities of posting images from other people, that's the whole purpose of it. I wanted to, you know, engage with people across the world on what are they using to grow inside or reduce uh, water consumption or soil consumption or they're just not in an area or habitat that allows for uh, easy growing and they're going indoors or whatever the situation is. That's why I really I wanted to do the Facebook page so we could all share ideas and just discuss on who's doing what and what are some of the uh, you know best practices that people are using. This is it guys, I want to say uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Make sure to give me the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and have a great week.